what's up youtube welcome to my channel i'm jelana so today is actually going to be a random tesla vlog um i'm going to be getting my car washed so i'll take you guys with me on that i'm also going to be unboxing a few accessories that i bought for my car which include some brand new car mats which i'm super excited about and um some cup holder protectors and also i'm going to be showing you some of the christmas features that tesla has to offer that are super exciting and so cute and lastly i'm going to show you all how i charge my car inside of my apartment i am preparing to go on a road trip tomorrow which i might also vlog so make sure that you guys stay tuned for that so if you're interested in seeing this very random tesla vlog make sure that you stay tuned okay so i'm headed to the car wash now i picked up some food because i'm starving um so when you're getting your car washed it's better for your car to get it hand washed instead of going through like one of those big old drive through car washes so i'm actually headed to a car wash in Lindbergh. I live in Atlanta, so in a Lindbergh area called the Luxury Hand Car Wash. So I always go here because they, obviously, given the name, they hand wash the cars. And they're pretty quick and they're pretty affordable as well. This will actually be the first time I get the inside of my car cleaned too. So normally I just get the outside cleaned, but I'm getting the inside cleaned today as well so that I can prepare my car to put down like my new mats. Okay, so I just got to the car wash and usually there is a little bit of a line. So I'm sitting in line right now and normally while I'm sitting in line or while I'm waiting for my car to get washed, I watch TV on my um, screen. So I normally would go ahead and click on my theater right here. Let me put my car in park. And then I usually watched Naruto while I'm waiting. So yeah, I'm just gonna watch this show and wait for my turn in line. A monstrous crime. He killed his own master and then fled from the village. What could have happened between Sir Utakata and his own master? There's no way. I believe that all of your dreams are the reason. You took my heart, all my keys, and my passion. You took my heart, all my sleep, for decoration. You mistake my love, I brought for you for foundation. All that I wanted from you was to give me something that I never had, something that you never seen, something that you never been. Mm. Okay, so I'm all finished with my car wash. And I'm about to head out. It only cost it $35, which is so cheap. And then I am going to exit car wash mode so that I can head home. Okay, so I'm actually about to install my car mats. The sun is starting to set, so I want to hurry up before it gets too dark outside. Okay, so I was sent this package from Last Fit. Um, it actually comes in two boxes. There's another box in my trunk, which I'll show you in a second. But this, um, this box contains the mats for the front seats as well as the back seats and then the one in the trunk is for my trunk seats but um super nice you know packaging definitely came in one nice quality box didn't have to worry about you know the box and the products being damaged on the inside so Okay, so before I actually install them, I want to show you the quality of them. So, um, it's super nice. Like, it's super thick. I love the design. Like, it's not too much. Some of the mats that I was seeing had, like, too, 
too much like too many of these like crevices and stuff like that and i didn't really want all of that inside of my car so i just think these are nice and sleek like they're so sleek i'm i'm literally so satisfied so far like this looks so cute um so these obviously go in the front seats and then this long one goes in the back row as well so super nice like i said quality it, it's the quality just looks really good so far i'm really pleased so let's see what it looks like inside of my car okay so like you saw in early in the video i got my car clean first so the car is super super clean first um i didn't want to put them on top of like 30 floors and stuff like that so that's why i got my car kind of like mini detailed first before i did that so i think this is on the right side So that was actually super, super easy to install. I literally just put them in there and they look really good so far. Um, just kind of playing with it since they were in the box for a while. One thing that I really wanted out of my mats is that like if I were to spill something, I wanted it to kind of have a little bit of... um material on the side so that if i were to spill something like it will kind of stay within the mat if i were to lift the whole mat out and so that i can like dump it on the ground um but yeah so like i said these look so cute and so freaking chic i love them okay so i'm on the passenger side and i have my mats again um i think it just goes this way like this part goes up and you really just put them in. I probably should just stick that a little bit. So it says that if the mats kind of come folded up inside the package to fold them the opposite direction. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now is folding them in the opposite direction so that they can lay flat at the bottom. Okay, so I had to play with this side a little bit to get it to fit in properly just because, like I said, um, obviously the mats are can be a little bent up while they're being mailed. So it gives you instructions on what to do if your mats are bent up a little bit. So it's definitely something that they already tell you to be aware of. Um, so I went ahead and followed the instructions and they were able to fit into my car pretty nicely after that i just screwed up the chairs in my front seat so that i can install the mats in the back seat so Okay, so these ones were actually super easy to install and they came out very nicely. As you can see, the back seat. Okay, and my last set of mats from them came in this big old box. And these are for the trunk, I believe. Okay, so this mat is actually ginormous and it goes in the trunk so i'm just gonna like start folding it the other way so i can take out some of the curl that it had from being mailed okay so i'm gonna go ahead and install this into the trunk wow this looks so nice but yeah, like, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the original material is very, like, felt material. So it's just so easy to get dirty. And I just like how this kind of, like, provides some extra protection so that I don't, like, get stains and stuff like that. I'm really satisfied with how this turned out.
Okay, so I just finished unpacking the floor mats. I'm really satisfied with the quality. I love the way that they look. A lot of floor mats that I was seeing, uh, they just were, some of them were just too sporty looking. I feel like this is a nice in between, um, this is like a nice compromise in between chic and sporty. Some of the mats just have like too many like ridges and stuff on them. And I just didn't like all of that. Um, I also really, really like the quality of these. They're very thick. They just seem very durable. I can definitely tell that these will last a really long time. So I've been wanting car mats for a minute. And as you know, one of my main complaints about Tesla is that it does not come with anything. <laughs> so you will have to buy your own car mats. Thank you so much, Blastfit, for sending me those mats. I'm super grateful for that. The next accessory that I have and the last one are these cup holders so it did come in this box this is from an amazon store which i will link down below and they sent me this as well this is my first time trying it i literally just unboxed it just now but i think i think a good rule of thumb in general when you have a nicer car is you want to try to protect as many things as you can so that's why i bought a screen protector which you guys saw in my first accessory video i have you know spray and things like that to help easily clean up things in my car um i really wanted floor mats i wanted mats for the trunk especially since a lot of the material on the tesla doesn't seem super super durable and the carpet like i didn't want the carpet to be exposed too much so that's why i got mats as well but the same goes with cup holders cup holders can usually be very 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 filthy lots of dirt and all types of stuff in cup holders so i wanted to make sure that i had something that could protect them so yes i was sent these cup holders and i'm gonna just quickly install them and show you guys what they look like okay so before i install them i want you to see the details on them so it does have these things on the side to kind of help further secure um the cup holder in the you know in the area so that it doesn't get messy if this were to you know get dirty this would be really hard to clean but something like this i can just pull it out um and clean it and i can also just take out the insert that's inside if i wanted to just clean that as well so this is also removable i'll try to show you so this thing can also be removed so that makes it a lot easier to clean and maintain i feel like i find myself on the go a lot so i do find myself eating and drinking in my car a lot so i think that this is a good option um to help keep everything clean in my car so i'm just gonna go ahead and push this in there like that uh looks really cool it doesn't disrupt anything it's not too loud so yeah i really like this so there are two main features that tesla offers for like christmas time so the first one is santa mode and it's super easy to get to so if you get right here and click on toy box there's actually a lot of different things that your car can do so one of them is santa mode so if i go over to santa i can turn this on okay so it does play that <laughs> that christmas song at the beginning um and as you can see my car has transformed into a sleigh with santa inside and so cute and while i'm driving it's super cute because all of the cars on the road turn into reindeers and the pedestrians turn into elves and when you click on your signals a cute little bell rings and it's so cute so another way to access this is if you can use your voice command so you just press the voice command button right here Oh, sorry. Wrong side. <laughs> Press the voice command button right here. You would hold this down. And you would say, ho, ho, ho. And then it'll open up Santa mode. And it'll basically have those same features. So you don't have to go to Toy Box to activate it. So I moved my car to my garage so that I can start the light show. I'm not going to do it too loud because I don't want everyone running over here trying to figure out what's going on. So I'm going to... And then the show will start once I get out the car and close the door.
so lastly really quickly i'm going to show you guys how to charge my car so i've already showed y'all once on my um tesla pickup vlog i believe but basically since most apartment buildings have um like those universal type chargers if you have a tesla you're gonna have to have this adapter um and it comes with the car so for tesla superchargers those chargers fit right into teslas without using an adapter but and and also for the tesla wall chargers as well but for every other charger you're going to need some type of adapter so most times um you'll need this kind there is one other kind of adapter that i've seen as well but i don't have that kind of adapter yet and um luckily i only need this one for my apartment but you literally just put this into the like charger thing and then you plug it up into your car so i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how i do that this is how i charge my car every day so right now my car is on 67 percent and i have the model 3 so um i have the 2022 model 3 so it's encouraged for us to charge our cars pretty often and i'm also going on a road trip tomorrow so i do want my car to be fully charged for the morning um so i'm just going to show y'all real quick how i go about doing that my adapter here's the charger so you literally just put this in here like this so now you know it's charging okay so now it's charging and it says that it's gonna take about four hours to get to fully charged I'm just gonna leave it there overnight because I'll probably be asleep by the time it's fully charged. And I am leaving for my road trip in the morning. I'm leaving for my road trip in the morning and you know, so I wanted my car to be fully charged for that. I will be vlogging kind of just like a little small vlog of how the road trip goes. Basically, I'm just gonna be showing y'all, you know, where I charge at, how often I have to charge. I'll be driving from Atlanta, Georgia to Columbus, Ohio. So that is about 430, 450 miles. So um, I'm just going to show you guys how the road trip works, how Tesla calculates the routes and everything like that. So, but yes, I hope that you guys enjoyed this very random Tesla video and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Let me get your